I'm Tarya, and this is Sailing Embla. I'm down here at the marina in Karlstad, which is uh, in Sweden, of course. It's uh, just between uh, Sweden. Uh, it's sweet, sweet. <laughs> it's just between Gothenburg and Stockholm, pretty much. Uh, the reason for this film is an uh, upcoming voyage. I'm going for a sail. This sail is going to take place to a location in Norway called Lofoten. And Lofoten is way up north. If you want to see what I'm on about, about this Lofoten thing, you could just uh, Google it yourself, press pictures, and voila, there you are. Now I'm going to show you the boat. Anyhow, and I'm back again here at the marina, and I'm on my knees at the moment. Um, yesterday, uh, I tried to film some footage of the boat, uh, and it, it didn't work because I was using these that came with the phone, uh, the little microphone here which is good uh, but the wind messed with the sound too much so i have to reshoot it today i brought with me my pet hamster which is there it's called harry he's a nice hamster and then i inserted the microphone as you can see there into his yeah you know and he's happy about it don't ask me why. Now, to be a little more serious though, this here behind me is the boat. This here is the Allegro 33. And I'll just get out of the way. Which means uh, it's a 30, 33 footer. Uh, she's a double ender. And about on her widest, I think it's 10 feet across. And uh, Hey, looks like I got rats on the boat. What is that? Hey, you. Nah, that's shabby. That's my dog. She's coming along for the trip as well. Hey, shabby. Hey. She's a good dog. This boat was uh, designed by uh, Lars Olof Norlin which is a Swedish naval architect. Uh, it was built in 1986 and the original owner of this boat built it to go sail with in the, the Caribbean and so on with his family. So he took part in the building process himself and outfitted this boat for you know open water cruising. Uh, this boat then block weighs about 6.8 tons which I reckon is kind of heavy for a boat her size. I just love the shape of this boat. It's a double ender as I said before so she's kind of round everywhere <laughs> and uh, maybe like me I guess but uh, yeah it strikes a chord with me so uh, I think it was love at first sight. I bought her got her home and started upgrading her and fixing stuff. I'll give you a tour later because uh, now as you can see there are no masts on and it's a total mess inside the boat because uh, I'm working there. You don't want to go down there anyway but I'll give you a better tour later. Now I reckon uh, to go to Lofoten the trip is about 1500 miles or so, nautical miles, uh, and it should take, I don't know, three, four weeks, perhaps, uh, if you're a good sailor, which I am, but I'm going to take my time. And uh, that's the real reason for this video, because um, it's not only Lofoten you want to see if you're going to go sailing in Norway, because the whole of Norway is one giant coast from one end to another. You can look it up on a map if you want uh, and you will see that literally the whole coastline of Norway is just filled with uh, one fantastic scenery after no another. There are these majestic mountains, you have fjords anywhere <laughs> you look, you have uh, abundance of wildlife and uh, yeah, and the great thing about all of this 
is that there are not that many boats around. So you can find your own space. You can be on your own if you want to have some solitude. And, uh, but you can also be with, with other people. And that's also the real reason why I needed more time than the normal vacation period that we have here in uh, Scandinavia, which is about four or five weeks. And uh, when I started thinking about this little trip, I thought to myself that if I'm going to do something like this, um, I might as just go all in. So I, done, I did math and uh, what I found was that there are really two things you need to go sailing in any distance that is, uh, except for the boat and uh, a jar of whiskey, arr, arr. of course. I have that jar of whiskey though, and I, I also have the boats, <laughs> of course. But the whiskey came first. Well, anyway, uh, there are two things you need, <laughs> and that is money and there's time. And sadly enough, when I started con uh, contemplating about these plans, uh, I recognized that I lacked both, seriously lacking both. What I thought of was the money part. How could I fix that? So I s said to myself, yeah, I better rob a bank. That's what I'm going to do. And if I get caught, that solves the other problem because I'm going to get time. <laughs> a lo lots of time to be a little more serious now then. What I thought of was the time part. Uh, the only way I could solve that, because I only had, I don't know, five weeks of vacation this year, and uh, that meant I could only, if I, if I pushed it, go all the way to Lofoten, and then I would have to leave the boat there and fly home. Because this is Sweden, and I'm gonna sail to Norway. And, um, so the only logical uh, conclusion to this issue, if you will, was to quit my job. So that's what I did. I quit my job. And then <laughs> the rest of the problem, the money part, actually followed suit. Because what happened if I don't have a job and I'm going to sail anyway? I don't need an apartment. I don't need my car and I don't need my stuff. What if I got rid of everything? That would minimize my expenses and also hopefully will bring in some cash as well. So, and I think, I reckon I can get all the way up to Lofoten and perhaps all the way to Tromsø as well. Uh, that's what I'm hoping for. But when there, I seriously need to get a job like ASAP because the money would have run out by then. So I'm hoping to get some fish to extend the budget to eat lots of fish during the trip. Well, well, um, I reckon I'm gonna put this up quite soon uh, because this is only meant uh, as a little prologue. I just want to, to introduce the project and so on and so forth. And uh, if you like it, give me a thumbs up. And if you don't, uh, don't do anything, please. Because <laughs> this is the very first video I'm presenting on uh, YouTube. So uh, please be nice. Uh, that would be cool. And if you w are wondering of, about something, just uh, write in the comment section below. And uh, I'll get back to you. And yeah, I guess that's pretty much it. I almost forgot because I, I watch myself in the camera here and I can see I have this magnificent beard. I just love touching it, yeah. It's almost like having your pet on your face the whole time. You can just pet your pet by touching like this. That's kind of cool. See you next time, bye.